Coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. So here is the perennial heavyweight contender, former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, Alistair Overeem. And DC, it's sort of hard to tell an effective history of heavyweights in MMA without coming across the name The Real. Yes, because he's been a champion in every organization he's ever fought. As you said, K-1, dream champion. Not held the UFC title, but has competed for it before in his career and will be looking to earn another chance at championship. High-level striker, but that is overlooked when you think of Alistair Overeem is that great guillotine choke that he has that he's finished a number of opponents with. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest for kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with the same height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 47 wins, 19 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Alistair Areem Overeem! Special record of eight wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, Bagamaga! So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. the separation now. Oh, nice punch there by the ring. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Because you don't know when that leg kick's coming. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Overeem gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Ooh! Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Got the single collar tie. Slice and elbow land on the plate. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Alistair Overeem. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, no way. Spinning back fist. Nice loop and punch.
misses with that big right hand. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. Beautiful leg kick throw. Right, he engages in oh, the nice collar tie. tie. Take down and scramble to his feet. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick lands. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night if that landed. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Round two is underway. One of those knees to the body. Oh, single collar tie here. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Punch over the top. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Over in, gets caught with that punch. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. with that jab attempted. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, brutal knee to the body. That one landed clean. Nice kick there by the rain. Punch is blocked. Over in's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Hit with a kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back and forth we go. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, strong punch there by over. Yes. What a fantastic question. Great kick. Submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should lob the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick, too. All right, next round is underway, DC. We Ready. talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. 
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice kick there by the Reem. There's no tell on that leg kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Nice straight punch. Oh, collar ties. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Boy, Thai Plump. And they separate. Can't take many of those, you better check. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Huge block there. He loaded up on that guy there, too. Nice. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. sense of urgency that you want to see from a foot. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Lands a switch knee. Both guys appeared to land there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. So as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight he will be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges for the contest, 928. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Alistair the Reed. All right, so the judges are in it.